A very popular guy dressed in red will be standing outside of a Sydney Target store this Christmas, but it ain't Santa. He's an ordinary guy who's just doing his job just like he has for the past two decades. Today's Mike Dalton has the story. About a generation ago, Michael Cochran took a job as the meter and greeter at Target Castle Towers in Sydney's suburban northwest. And good afternoon, sir. Welcome back to Target. The role requires Michael to offer each customer a friendly face of welcome or goodbye, and sometimes at the same time. Good morning, ladies. Have a pleasant time here in Target. Thanks for your morning visit. Bye. And Michael's manner in doing so has won him a place of affection in this here, these parts. Yeah, but, but at least with that one, you get a poster in it as well. So much so that, as is the way of the 21st century, a Facebook page has been erected in his honour. So for 19 years, you've basically stood on the spot here that has the target symbol. That's right, and this yeah. has been your ballywick. It has been, you're right. Oh, been. morning. Yes. I'm just doing morning, it. ladies and gentlemen. Morning. Welcome back, and children, welcome back to... Always here to greet us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's good to see you coming back again, so welcome back. And people love to be greeted. They love to be welcomed into the store. But also two people remember you. They do, and I love. I remember them too, and they like that as well. And it's when you're on the Target carpet square with him, morning, working morning. the spot, morning, that makes it easy to understand morning, this underground adulation. Morning, madam. Oh. Morning, how are you? Oh. Michael is child whisperer. He'll look at that for 10 minutes, yeah. Makes it easier when you're shopping. Piece for you. Yes, when you're shopping. Smooth talker. Oh, so you're not sisters, so the mummy and the daughter. Well, mummy and daughter, you enjoy your shopping in Target this morning. And store spruker all in one. There's some great Christmas stuff in tomorrow. Thanks, Mark. So thanks. Okay, I hope so. Thanks. But it was time to seek independent confirmation of Michael's likability. Attention shoppers. I miss him when he's on holidays. You don't feel the same. You don't feel as accepted, I think, into the store. No, he's a wonderful asset. He's a wonder. He's a yeah, why is he a wonder? Because he's a nice guy and he says hello to everybody and he treats them very well. Thank you. He's a, and he's a wealth of knowledge. He just makes me feel like coming in and he's so warm and I don't know, I just feel like it's a nice place to shop. So I actually said to one of the staff members, is he, is he like that all the time? And they said he's even like that in the break room. This is beautiful, look at him. Now, are you leaving the store now? I'm leaving the store. Can I just check your bag, please? Oh, yeah, for sure. Full of junk. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for shopping at Target. No worries, man. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> he does a good voiceover, Mike Dalton. Doesn't he? Mm. Some people are too happy at Christmas, though, aren't they? Oh. A little bit sus on them? No, 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 no. Don't be a cynic. No, do I just it. want to get the no. shopping done. I don't want to socialise with anyone. No, no, just no, 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 no. You're a much nicer person than that. <laughs> no, what a lovely that. bloke. <laughs> Indeed.